such a man? Was he from Obinago? Then, if he was from Obinago, why do we call them evil and inferior? See, well, I need to understand what happened in the past so we can know how to plan the kingdom we need in this kingdom. Listen, babe. I don't want us to talk about this anymore. We are people of a winter kingdom. And I do not want you to talk about people of a winter kingdom. So, does it mean that you just cannot think at all? There was a man with Akala yesterday in our house. And that man actually paid Akala to think the princess for him. And the man is a total stranger from God knows where. And that was the reason why princess was going to Akala. It looks like if there's sense in what you are saying. But I don't know why I find it difficult to believe. So you're telling me you don't believe me? You know I'm not too close to princess. But one thing for sure that she would not be so low to allow a character as Akala to pimp her to a total stranger. Oh, why are you thanking God? I was just here telling Chris about the stranger that came in here yesterday. And she wouldn't believe me. So can you tell about that stranger? No, no, no. I didn't come here for all that. I came here simply to publish the orders from the chief priest of the Oracle of Akuniko. This is a new dawn here in the Kingdom. Those that open their mouth will say exactly what they know. The gods are angry simply because we are now talking too much of what we don't know. Please do not say I did not tell you what the chief priest said. I have said my piece. I don't believe that the chief priest said that. Where did this see the priest? Okay. As we speak now, three Ichies have died on the staff of the Oracle of Akuniko. Simply because they said they knew what they don't know. The Ichies that died were Ichie of Edu, Ichie Ibenebu, and Ichie Ego Bife. Please, we must open our mouth to say only what we know here in order to the kingdom. Abaka, I have said my peace. Does it mean that this change is part of our <laughs> Please, I don't want to be part of it. I don't know anything. She cannot promise what she cannot do. But before you go to Akala, 
you must go to the priest of Adam and tell him that the man that died on the staff of Africa have to be brought back to life. They have a part to play in the emerging dispensation. Men will make a strange man of you. When the time comes, do what your heart tells you. Okay, but, but, but I, I don't... I don't know the priest of Africa. How do I find him? You don't have all the time in the world. Get to the remains of the men. They have a part to play in the imagined dispensation. This is my business again, Bufu. A powerful oracle. I, I thought this whole thing was for me to come here and make money and just go. See, I'm gradually being led into paganism. And you, how did you know that I'm here? Were you hiding before? I asked Uncle Dai, but he told me that you slept in his house. And I knew for certain that you would still be here. I came to see you. Uh, Odibo, do you know the priest of Akumiko? Eh? Uh, are you sure you are not one of those animals that move around kingdoms, stealing deities and idols? Odibo, why would you say that? Because I'm beginning to see you as a thief. It was only yesterday that you came to me asking for the sacred dosisim. And we are not yet done with that business. And here you are, asking for the shine of Akonik. Listen to me, if you are a thief that have come to steal idols and deities, hey, I want to tell you immediately that Osisim is, is a tree, and surely you cannot steal a tree. The oracle of Akonik is the deadliest oracle on planet Earth. As we speak, three each years are lying dead on the staff of Oracle of Akuneko. Listen to me. <laughs> Bundle your miserable body out of this kingdom before it will be too late for you. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Are, are, you, are, you, are you leaving immediately? Of course. Why not? What would I be doing with a thief like you? I want to tell you. If the, the millions you told me of is going to come from sale of deities and idols, please delete my name from the possible beneficiaries of your gains because I'm no longer interested. Odibo, those three elders that died, they have a part to play in the coming dispensation. Are you sure you are not insane? I told you that they are dead and they said they have a part to play in coming dispensation. Can dead men ever play any part in any dispensation? Even you, Odibo. You also have a role to play. Take me to the priest of Africa. You never can tell when you become relevant in kingdom politics. If I discover that you are a thief, that I've come to steal idols and deities from this kingdom, I'm not just going to kill you. I'm going to kill you slowly so that you will feel the pain. I'm going to kill you. Okay. First. There is a stranger that came into our kingdom. We are surely talking about a man of heaven who came searching for the secret we see. Who do you know? Are you equally aware that his mission to our kingdom is to become a millionaire? This is a new doubt. 
down with already dead skin. Those that open their mouths to say something must be sure of what they are saying. The laws are breaking us. Our people are now talking too much of what they do. Is that what you think? That I don't know what I'm saying? That young man was in my place. And before he came to my place, he had already visited the sacred Ossusim without the right. I stand before the shrine to tell you that you have no right to place a fine on that young man. Are you sure you are the one saying this? A stranger has no right to appear before the sacred Ossusim without the right. That man is not a stranger. And in the coming dispensation, he has a part to play. You see? Have you seen this? That's what I'm saying. This was a strange man that went to our sacred position without a guide. And now again, he had appeared before our great Apunikon shrine. This young man here, he said those in chairs that died, that they have a part to play in the coming dispensation. He demanded that I should bring him before the chief priest of Apple. Who am I to say no? That is why you are here. Why are you not saying anything? This young man is doing everything possible to undermine the relevance of our custom. Why are you not saying anything? I tell you again, this man. May I hear the information? Not from the first. I want to tell you that you have not been a good friend to me. Oh, be mad. Why would you say a thing like that? I asked you to disclose the identity of the man who has stolen my love for the princess. But you have refused to do that. Why? You know what? I really don't have a lot of time to spend here. You are deviating from what you called me for. And I will appreciate if you have whatever you have to tell me to tell the princess. Just say it and straight to the point, please. Okay. Can you sincerely tell me the reason the princess does not want to be my bride? Um, I think she actually found out to end to fall. And you know her kind of person? She's really not comfortable with that. I want you to be sincere with me. Do you believe I went to fraud? <laughs> Everybody knows that. That's a common knowledge. Personally, I don't have a problem with that. But the woman you want to marry, she's not feeling at home with it. Should I tell you the truth? Yes. I am not into the fraud. And what would you call that? What I do is called oil laundering. Illegal sale of oil. It's not fraud because I sell a product and people pay to have it. You see, Obina, the mere fact that you call it illegal sale of crude oil, it automatically makes it a negative business. And the princess Lynn that you and I know she don't want to get involved with a man who is into illegal business. You know that? I think it's about time I told you something I'm sure she doesn't. And what would that be? Her father, the king, is also part of this business of oil bunker. See, Obina, 
Obina, you have to be very mindful of what you say. Why are you involving the king with this criminal act? I really don't like it, honestly. You know I like him and respect him a lot. Sir and short. I'm only telling you this because I want you to understand that she's just turning against me for now. Listen, her father the king and my father got to be friendly because of this business. We got to be throttled. I'm only planning a huge future for her. That's all. I am not into fraud. I mean, if she's against my business, then she should be against her father's main source of income. Are you sure of what you're saying? I don't say things I'm not sure about. The king may be incapacitated, but his boys work every day to remit money into his account. Oil money. The only difference is that we're not registered with the government. But mind you, some government officials are part of this. Wait, 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 wait. This is really getting more complicated. Because she told me that you told her that you've converted a lot of men to be your perpetual paymasters. So, why would you have a lot of men pay to you if you are not into this fraudulent business of 419? I really don't understand that. I only meant clients who have grown to trust us so much. They so trust us they can afford to remit money into our accounts without seeing the product. It has nothing to do with fraud. Yes. I mean, fraud is stupid. I wonder why she would connect me with fraud. Why?
special people in this tribulation. We are able to do inferior gospel. Hello? Can you explain to me what is going on? My view was, do you know of this kingdom? He's in a better position to explain to you. I don't know what is happening. I am trying my possible best to understand you. What is my business with you? You see, the man that asked me to be my I am sorry, Obina, but I cannot continue with this call, please. You don't dare. Why are you doing everything possible to get me angry? Are you aware that three chains of this kingdom died today? Are you aware? We see you with such, such baseless knowledge. How could three chains die here? The three chains that died here. Strangely, the three men that died are suddenly back on their feet again. And everybody in the land is interested in the incident that led to their death and their revival. So I will advise you go and ask questions. And please, I cannot continue with this call. What? Three died and 
close again? What's the meaning of this? What, what game are they playing? Something very strange happened earlier in the day. And I want to ask both of you. You actually understand what happened earlier today? A week is not to understand what happened. So let me tell the truth. The king and Ono has contracted a native doctor from Obinago in order to intimidate us. In order to bring us down. Listen, I don't know what all of you are thinking. But I will make sure I stop them. Even if it means fighting them with the last drop of my blood. Ichi Ibenebu. Have you forgotten that you were dead persons of you hours ago? Yes. That is exactly what I am saying. Have you asked yourself how we died? And how we came back to life? That alone would have taught you that the king and Ono who are up to something. I am not going to hold my hands and watch it. I will prove to them that any man who has become a masquerade is permanently a masquerade. They tell me, man. I want to be very sincere with both of you. I am no more comfortable with the kind of politics we are playing here. We accuse the king falsely, and we have seen the result. So what are we saying? In fact. I am out of it. I had died and then came back to life. What's the meaning of that? The only thing I'm going to tell you now is that men have thought they know so much. It is like it, it, it finally dawned on me and then everything has to be. I want to do what I thought. In order to intimidate and humble the men in council. I am going to tell you now is that you have to accept the sick as your king. What? What rubbish are you spewing out of your mouth? How can you say that? You never liked the king, remember? He's now being protected by his strange demons. You are in my house, under my roof, and I'm talking to you as a physician. You have to accept that king, that same king, as your king. And just go and make him look like a nasty woman of this king. There is something I am trying to understand. 
my business in Nigeria, my small business. I came down to this place, all the way from Kota because I was told that all the money I need in my life is in you and you. I am here to tell you one thing. I am sick and tired of this whole process. I am. Up till now, I have not seen any money. Nothing. What I have seen is that I am gradually being lured into becoming a, a native doctor, helping people, solving problems, even raising the dead. Something I, will, I, I always rejected all my life. It's okay.
surprised you know about this. Masquerade said I should find this key and ask of it anything. Is that the reason you decided to move faster than your shadow? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean it. I mean it that way. I need mean one. Things are bad for me. My, my business is bad. If it is bad, I don't like it. Let me just say it. If I find out that in the end I was lured back to this village to come and become a little doctor, I will become such a terrible little doctor that the people will wish I never came back. Let me just make it. Clear. you're still doing here. It's late and I need to go in and sleep. Since you refused to come to my place, I don't see anything wrong. I decide to stay. Are you listening to yourself? You want to stay in the palace with the princess? Why are you such a terrible man of this kingdom? Why? Princess, I know you are seeing something else and that's why you disrespect what you share. Can you at least tell me who the person is? Do you know what I'll tell you? Good night. Wait. What do you think you're doing? Blocking me from going to sleep? I know the reason you are acting this cold towards me. It's English. Think out. It's not what I think. It is what you know. You are into fraud. All one night that converts men into what you call perpetual pain masters. Mm -hmm. I do the same business with your father. I came tonight to put the record straight so you don't make a mistake in the future. What do you mean by my father and you do the same business? What do you mean by that? If you must forget everything, don't ever forget your name is true. I love you. Good night. Don't lock the door where you're going. Ichi, don't tell me you are not getting what I'm saying. The tree is now ready to make some people millionaires, and I want us to be the ones to grab this money. You are one radical man in this kingdom, and I, I, I love you for that. I don't know why you are confusing me the more. 
I'm telling the radical man that there is a lot of money to be grabbed and you are dragging your feet. You see, why are you dragging your feet? I am not going to dabble into the rubbish you call radical. Because I know from the deepest part of my heart, if you are required to define radical, you are going to fumble. You won't be able to define the word you are using. And so I don't want to go into all that. What is the source of your information? Wait, is this another way of saying that you don't trust me, Odibo? Odibo, there are too many several things happening in this kingdom presently, and nobody is talking about trust. As far as I am concerned, I can tell you authoritatively that even trust itself has become very strange to me. Who told you that this tree is on the verge of giving people money? That is what I want to hear. The revelation came from the same man of Obenago that raised you from death. Listen, let me tell you, Chief. His original plan for coming into this kingdom was to grab the money. Those of us that have lived in this kingdom all our lives should be the ones to grab this money, to become these billionaires. I'm not a stranger, a visitor of Ubinago of all places, coming here to hijack the money. No, the this is ungodly. But they listen to me. As long as you are under my roof, standing here in my living room, you cannot afford to sustain this unjust discrimination between. Well, you have to call the names. Ichi, don't tell me that you have finally joined them. The people that believe that we're in the same class with the people of Obiago. Have you finally joined them? Look at my face. We're in the same class. Hey, listen to me. Do not ever sustain. I have left some things. Very strange things are happening around me. As a brother, do not sustain this your nonsense. Argument that there is any difference between the Obinago people and our people. Because we are not. We are the same. We are in the same class. I don't want to go into all that. I want us to discuss how we are going to stop this man of Obinago from coming into our kingdom to grab this money. Confide in me. Tell me what we are going to do. If you believe you can stop it. Stop it. Okay, I need you. Why are you proving 
them right by being silent and helpless. Why? Why are you doing this? This is the secretary of my people. How did you get in here? The king of Orenitan is afflicted with what is called an incurable sickness. I don't know how you can do it. Diagnosed of anaphylactosis. That one has been healed. His legs are normal. But the problem here is that he cannot stand without assistance. Medical science has given up on him. And the last doctor that came advised we explore other options. I went to that tree because I was told that healing.
judgment of God. Do you know what that means? Some elders accused my father of secret sins. I said my father is sick because he committed secret sins and he swore by the staff of Africa and died instantly. Is that what you call the movement of the gods? Or are you also accusing my father? The people of Obinagua and Obenitana should be under one king. Your people are resisting this reality. That is why your father, the king, is sick. He was surely talking well. How could you say a thing like that? If only your father would accept this truth, that your people and my people are one in the sight of God, our creator, this incurable sickness would depart from him mightily. I told you that. Who called it the movement of the gods? And right now, everything is starting to join in my brain. Like I said, your father just has to accept that your people and my people are one, and he will be healed of his spirit. I, I don't understand what you mean. You're confusing me. doing here with a stranger? No, nobody's a stranger here. We are one with the people of Obinago. Nobody's a stranger. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing here with my husband? Before you were married by the king, some men had uprooted the sacred Moses in this land. They held it as a people tree. Right now, as we speak, the tree is back. It can only mean one thing. What do people do is way bigger than that. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear what the stranger who snuggled into his collar said?
the chosen person. But you can still be relevant in the world. Healing will come to the king. And when that happens, there will be peace between Obinago and I should have spared to see that day. Would this be the day? Audible. Audible, you are gradually going insane. How far down? Are you, am I the one you are calling insane? Or are you referring to someone else? I am talking to you. Well, you are talking to yourself these days. What do I tell me? Who knows what's going on? Probably you have not attended school. By way of uh, interest and by way of education and things, I'm higher than you. When you start talking to yourself, it simply means you are deceived. It's okay. You just hold it there. Hang on. How much is your money? How much am I owing you? I don't want to. I simply want to educate you on a certain aspect of life. How much is your money? I'm going to ask you this for the last time because if I'm leaving this place and you try to rob me, it's going to be the perfect obituary of this your miserable part. Are you hearing me? How much is your money? Yeah? Look at you. Just take it. After all your education, this is where your education has brought you. Ordinary bar in, 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 in our kingdom. That is, you just look, look at your bar, look at your education. The bar of this education or not education. You should understand the, the condition of this country. It doesn't matter where you are, whether you are selling it, whether you are running a bar or what. That you see me this way doesn't mean that I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just looking for time. Back in time. Time will come. My education will come. I said, I don't have all the time in the world. How much is your money? Yeah, tell me, tell me, tell me. You're, why would it, what stops you from being in a lecture hall? You know how to lecture like this and you are still here. Tell me, how much is your money? Let me be great. I've not even told you about my own level of education and you are saying nonsense. How much is your money? Yeah. Every time I will come to this bar, you cannot even put on a complete uniform that will match you. After your education, you cannot even dress your full self up. Look at where your education has landed you. It was not a bar in our village. I don't need to look at this. Look at, 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 look at. You are coming to educate me only. I have not even opened to you. My own name of education. Try that next time, but I will just, I will just stand up. No, why are you always coming here at night? Is there any problem? Uh, no, I received a call from the police. Can I go for the police? Yeah. Is there any problem? Um, okay, it's up. It's fit. And I have asked to assemble all you men. Thing is back on his feet. I don't understand. How is that ever possible? How can the king be back on his feet? <laughs> it was the king himself that called me. <laughs> if he were still sick and incapacitated, he would have called me. So try and show up in the palace at 9 a.m. I have this feeling that we are on the verge. There by night. <laughs> All right, good night. Bye.
imagine what I saw. The idiot was already adorned in the morning. We were going to have dinner with him. Can you, can you just picture that? Can you imagine the set? The king of Oren is in there. dying with a man from the land. You said they invited you. Why did you decline? What is wrong with you? What do you take me for? Some pauper that is not my real dinner? I am you. Whatever they have in that palace, I have abundance of it. So I cannot descend to the level of dining and dining with some low class nonentity in my life. Gobina, I wouldn't want us to descend to the level of insulting. It has been revealed to me that we came from the same world. Automatically, we are the same world. Please, I want us to concentrate on what the princess. I have not listened to the you. To be your people. <laughs> One of which people says what is to unite your life with your life. Helen will come to the king. And when that happens, there will be peace between Obina and One thing I know for sure right now is that my people and your people We should be united. We should be ruled by God. Tell me about your father. Or in fact, tell me about your family. Okay. Uh, my father. My father was an integral. Probably the most powerful integral that I ever lived in. He died several years ago, but I can tell you that he is still very powerful. He's still part of the politics. You were talking well. How can a dead man be part of the politics of the people? It's not possible. It was my father who forced me out of my job. I still have my shop and where I sell my merchandise. My father appeared to me suddenly. In fact, he practically frustrated me until one day I realized I just had to come back. So far, I don't know. In urging his son to leave for the job because he had better things to do in this kingdom instead of wasting his time selling bangles and, and jewelries and chains in Alija. He was a powerful man of Obinam. Helen called him the strange one. I want to know what you will call him. I can't believe this. What is going on? Your father has appeared to me before. Where? In this palace. He was the one that told me that some elders were holding secret meetings and move my father as the king. He was also the one that told me to make a move and heal my father. What is his interest in all this? Why, 
Leslie. Sleeping with a princess. I beg your pardon. Are you insulting my daughter? No. Far be it from me to insult the same princess I do to her. All I'm saying is we shouldn't allow every every idiot into the palace. They shouldn't even be seen anywhere near the palace. That's my point. Well open now. It might interest you to know that, as we speak, the king is meeting with his men in council, finding the possibility of declaring him a complete man of this kingdom.
Um, sure. Uh, tell us what you want. Yes, you will. The mere fact that a young man is from Ubina has already made him a complete man of his kingdom. We all came from the same. And I sincerely don't think he will be a complete man by the declaration of the king because he is already a complete man of this land. What we should be discussing is how to make every man and woman of our land to realize that we share the same origin with the people of Ubina. And all this unnecessary discrimination is sustained against them over the years. No stop. Adelika, you speak abomination. Yes. Um, Your Majesty, I have decided to stand on my feet and address this august body because the issue we are discussing borders on the future of our land. And I want to say that whenever we are talking about future, very, very carefully. We do not talk about future without remembering the past. <clears throat> um, some years back, my father told me a story about the great Igwe. The great man from Obinadu who ruled as king in our land. Eventually, he was assassinated by our people because he was trying to use his position as the king to intimidate our people. And since then, Obinagu men have been looking for a way to avenge this man's death. How are we talking like blind men? How can we allow Obinagu man to dwell in our midst? Eventually, he is going to destroy us. And when destruction comes, it is total. To your majesty, I Obinagu men remain Obinagu men. They cannot match with us. And that is my stand. I want to ask you one question. Go ahead and ask me. Do you realize that you are talking about the same man that raised you from the dead? It is my imagination. Who is not here present has accepted this man. Even in Chiego Ibiyefe, who is right here with me, has also accepted him. Why are you playing politics with something like this? Oh no, I don't play politics. I am not a small boy. Eh? I know that plans have been made on the high places in order to instill fear into men in council. Your imagination. But as I speak with you right now, many of us have been gained. But I even a youth that refused to be gained. Obinago men remain Obinago men. We cannot match with them. That is my stand. read my mind, of course I'm wondering, but uh, I trust the king. So why am I here? His kingdom holds you in high esteem. You're an important person. And by the order of the king, I bid you welcome to your new apartment. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. I really don't understand what you mean. Is it possible for me to reach the king and tell him that I am not here to live in the palace? I'm here for something very important. And it is I so can't important. tell you what the king said already about you. You're a great man. This kingdom is overjoyed by your presence. The king in particular. And he wants you to live close to him. Live by him. Live here. If there's anything you would need, don't hesitate to call on me. Of your service. Okay. Thank you, Your Majesty. 
Thank you. Excuse me, sir. The news everywhere is that you fell in love with this strange man from Odinago. So I came to know what's going on. You see, this is one thing I hate about our people. They gossip too much. Hey, they say that this strange man now lives in the palace and that the king has even given him a house. They also say that he has supernatural powers and the princess fell for him after he's used his charms to raise three chairs from the dead and also heal the king. That's what I have. I want to get one to the do you believe that Princess Ling, as a Princess Ling of all people, could fall in love just like that? What do you thank me for? A lady that doesn't know what she wants? Uh, uh, do you think I believe all this? I wouldn't be here if I did. But there's a lot of talking and gossip. There's so much news in town. And you are my very close friend, so I feel I should come here and hear from you firsthand. Okay, the truth is this. I totally lost interest in marriage because of my father's sickness. But now that the king is back on his feet again, I am beginning to think of marriage. Hey. Mm -hmm. So you concluded that Obina is into illegal business and you don't even want to think about him anymore? You now think about this strange man with strange powers and the so-called superman of Obinago with weird powers? No, I am not thinking of anybody. Good, good, good. Obina is an illegitimate businessman. And you, the Princess Lin, that I know, you wouldn't want to marry that kind of man. I discussed with my father, and he confirmed to me that Obina does the same business with him. So he's not a first star I used to think. I didn't say things were not shown out. The king may be incapacitated, but his boys work every day to remit money into his account. Oil money. The only difference is that we're not registered with the government. But mind you, some government officials are part of this. Princess, Obina personally told me that what he does is called illegal exploitation of crude oil. They're not even registered with the government. So what do you call that? Is that a legitimate business? So. Are you telling me that the king of Ireland is involved in an illegitimate business? Mind you, Patronis, you're in the palace and you should not speak evil of the king. He's coming! When those that think they know so much would realize that they know nothing. The people of Obinago and Orenitelu are one and the same as long as you men continue to sit in council in Orenitelu and refer to the people of Obinago as inferior your land will continue to wallow under a sea king healing will come to your land when the king is healed
ego be fed. Can't you see what is glaring? Can't you see? The young man is simply acting the script written by Odo and the king. Open your eyes and see this in this Bible. Can you close this topic, please? I don't understand that no one is acting in the script. Nobody is acting in the script. I have seen here is that because of this land that we are living in, it's a lie. The, 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 the cause of our land cannot allow a road for a strange man of Obinado to become a complete citizen of our land. Never. Eh? Can't you see the handwriting written boldly on the wall? Please don't worry. You are the one that is seeing it, and I'm seeing it from the eye of God. Listen to me. The king and the majority have made the decision on this issue. And the king has made a declaration on it. And it, it, it stands. You are moving from door to door, scheming. You cannot change anything. From door to door, you cannot change anything. Hello? My name is. All the elders in council, and it's not standing, you know, standing, standing all alone because I cannot agree to their evil plans. Oh, I'm excited. You're excited? Why are you excited? Are you doing the blind man of this land? I'm excited. I do not understand that how you know about it. You're telling me that you don't know about it. It's all accepted. The romance between the people of Obinago and their people is not accepted even by me. Because as it stands, I am ready to fight it with the last drop of my blood. Yes. I'd like to see you um, Tonight, are you coming to my place or you want me to branch as I'm going back home? Stress is my stress. I have to start talking. Birds that lay the strongest of eggs do not make their own destiny. The fiftiness made by other birds to lay their own eggs in bed. It takes great courage. Build on a strange foundation. Is it possible that 
Forces mightier than you have already made you a warrior. You must trace this tree in real life to see the meaning. Confirm to me that this Amichi of Ubinago and I'm very happy. Please realize that I'm a friend. Is this Amechi that was arrested as an here for the murder of Chicken Jose? Well, I, I don't know who you are. But the said Amechi of Ubinago was investigated and he was released because he was out of the So, please be very good to the CPS and inquire from this matter. Sign as he and I am Inspector Silas and I'm calling you because I have a problem. I know you can help me. Oh, Inspector, how are you? What, what's wrong? What do you need my help with? As I speak to you, I'm at the verge of losing my job. Please, please, open up to me. What happened? I know that you are a good man. I will help you. It's not something we can discuss over the phone. I want to see you tomorrow. Uh, right now, I'm not in my job. I'm actually in a way. I don't know what I'm doing. Just direct me and I'll be with you. Oh, I'm fine. I'll send you a message. So, what happened? Because I don't think he would just wake up one morning and decide to dismiss him from the force. Something must have happened. Oh, there was this lady that supplied us station lights. I never knew she was dating the air commander. I had an issue with her. And before I knew it, I had to come and meet you with the air commander himself. As we speak, they have called up all my compliance against me. And my file has been forwarded to the first headquarters of Bosco College. I have spoken to everybody in the news. They all blame me to be a bad issue. Okay, so what was the issue you had? Telling me the truth. Nothing hidden. The truth. Okay. Well, uh, I can't say how this will finally end up. One thing I can say is that those who strive to hide the truth and punish the just, they don't always end up well. So I'll tell you this. Go back home to Richard. And realize that all the men who are holding this country down, they will soon have reasons to cry. See, evil men are scattered everywhere. But evil shall never, ever triumph over truth. Never. Go. The reason 
I said I don't want to be animals, life is just pure human. I was so empty and frustrated seeing you dying sick. But now that you're back on your feet again, I am beginning to think of marriage. Oh, that's what you expect to be here. I don't have any problem with that. I want to pray for it. But I must ask you, who do you want to marry? Come on, Dad, you shouldn't ask such a question. Sure, I know that the marriage of the princess follows the process, and I am betrothed to Obin Geje, which is the first phase of the process, and I am going to marry him to make you proud. I must tell you that my pride is nothing. It's absolutely nothing. The most important thing is your happiness. Your happiness. And based on this, well, I'm asking you to make sure that your mind will be now okay. will guarantee your happiness. that you don't like the man. I'm surprised you're talking about it now. Well, father, I said so because I was thinking he's engaged in some illegal business. But now I've confirmed that he will do some business with you. I don't see anything wrong in settling for him as my husband. Uh, well, no problem. The princess must marry the best. Uh, if you are sure that you will be in application, is the best you can see. But uh, your happiness is the most important. And uh, to me, the only thing that counts is your happiness. Trust me on that, Dad. I know what to do. Fair enough. Why are you toying with my emotions? Why? I just held a meeting with my father before you arrived and he said certain things. So I think we should not be in a hurry. What did you say? Do you love me? How could you ask me that? If I didn't love you, what would I be doing? That is why I came to engage you. Your, your initial hesitation was born out of the fact that the king's condition was bad. Now the king is fine, he's normal. And I see no reason we shouldn't get married. The marriage must first happen in the mind before it happens in the body. I don't know why we've not agreed in the mind. I don't know. Just, just overcome your fears. I want you to jump over all the problems that you have put down. I want to marry you. I love you. Forget about the intro that was going to put us apart. This has been established years ago. Let's just consecrate what we have. Let's say yes. Yes.
you exactly what you do. You wanted to avenge the death of Ibu Ejipoka, and then you murdered a man that gave you life. A man that gave you life. They didn't want to tell you that my family participated in the death of the man of your land. Why must you kill my father? Why? You killed him so that you want him to start to value life. And when he started to enjoy that life, you killed him and your business to make it so painful. You know what? That person is you. Because he trusted you. He trusted you and, and he, he, he accepted you as a son. He told me that he, you have policies for greatness and that he's ready to do everything for you, anything for you. And yet you betrayed him. I don't see. I hate you. I hate you with passion. I so much hate you. Passion. A man that he lets not to defend himself has automatically confirmed that he is guilty. We have asked Anosia of Obinak in countless number of times to tell us what he knows about the death of our king, about the sudden death of our king. Nothing. This means that he is the one that murdered our king. This leaves us with no other option than to execute him. Yes, execution. We are doing all this. We are blind spiritually. We cannot see. And to solve this problem, 
have invented a man of good man. He's actually having a He's very busy. We will come here to solve this problem for us once and for all. I remember asking you about it before, and you refused to speak. Now you see what it led to. I don't know what to say. I think the best thing to do is to let the elders and daughters go. No, 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 Your Majesty. No. You are the queen mother of this kingdom. Your position is an exalted one. You have a say in all of this. That man should, he should not just be left to grow like that. No! He should be prepared to feel the pain that he should die. He should, he should feel the pain. Kill him slowly so he dies and feels what he has done. The Chiego effect invited you from Obinago Kingdom. To come and defend your brother. And you have the effrontery to come into the palace of your little kingdom. Now tell us what you are here to do. Tell us why you are here. I can tell the elders here. I can tell the elders here. I will listen to this just We already know that our king was not that. Your brother murdered our king. Now tell us what you do before I will make our strike. I am speaking on that direction. And your king of my little king. Someone is palace compromised my position. And the king drank from the compromised cup. If you elders can get the king behind the conspiracy. This 
This is the reason I invited this man of Obinago to come and address the elders in council so that we can hear the word of God. The king was murdered by a group of people that caused him. Another woman. And the onus of finding the people behind this act is what we're supposed to be doing as elders in council and not looking for people to execute. Now tell us. Who are these people? Who are they? Speak! They need the assistance of the Christ of Africa. And they need him. Yeah. I'm going to be a good one. You're going to be a good one. Listen, we are talking about this other Africa of another land. We are talking about our own Africa. And I am saying to God, let us go and pray. Last time you came here, you made mention of the amalgamation of the beast of God. Could you please throw more light on that? Our people have to inspire my kid in work. I am no longer in a hurry to speak further. What do you mean? Our people have to inspire my work. I don't understand. The man of Obinago and the men in council arrested for killing our king. If it's not the murderer, then what are you looking for? Maybe not. Someday I'm going to be part of the ruling class, though I'm not a member yet. But I want to tell you in my capacity as well that the murderer of our king is yet to be arrested. See, we may make the mistake of punishing innocent people, but when the God of the just rises, he will fight for his people. Yes. There is a very strong allegation leveled against you. This is the start of Amuni Kobaraka. I want you to step forward and I swear I will to vindicate yourself.
in the early days, people who were in charge of what the king eats or drink, they are big, so they are of diligence, and they will never question the king. I'm beginning to fear that they, all of you that are in charge of what I eat, very simple. Your Majesty, this is your special. I mean, you call it special because it's completely made here in the palace. And this is specially made by you for you to celebrate your Special? Why do you now sound like you don't trust me anymore, Your Majesty? Ah. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, lately, I'm still having that funny thing.
I got the charter to a bit more cage because he was seen as the credible one. But it is remarkable that I later married a man of his name. Well, remarkable may not ultimately be the right word. I think God just wanted to meet him. And he did things his own way. And now, finally, Obinago. Already done. I think this is indeed enough. 